Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for uh, clicking on today's video. It is windy. We got you hiding behind a tree right now. That's the reason why we're sitting back. But, um, you know, me and Steph kind of started uh, a new deal that in the mornings that uh, we'll kind of walk around the property, get some exercise. Not that we do things throughout the farm and stuff throughout every day, but it's different than just walking around. It's a long time, us talking. And then the evening time, we started riding the side to side around, just driving around the property, just having us time. But, um, you know, living in the camper, you get, it, it, it's hard living in an RV. And I didn't realize it until we, we got in, we moved into it. Um, Dutch, you know, he told me, man, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. And yes, I can say it's rough, it's rough. It's rough. But um, one, one thing that I, I miss the most is my bed uh, from, in, from home and when we lived in town. Um, the, the RV bed, it just, um, it's just not very good. So we, we bought some um, memory foam stuff and put on it to try to make it better. Still, you just roll, roll into each other. But that's where I'm getting to this part here. We wanna thank Birch for sponsoring today's uh, video. Uh, they reached out to us, wanted to know if we would be interested in a bed. And I was like, yes, for sure. But, but the only problem was we lived in an RV. And uh, they told us, you know, just give us the dimensions or whatever, and we'll definitely make it right with you. Um, we just got it in uh, last night. So we're going to go in the uh, camper and show you all setting it up. Um, this is really big to us. I mean, it, yeah. the bed, I miss my bed in town. That's where you get your rest. And if you can't get a good night's rest, it makes the next day work rough. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go in there and we're going to show you unboxing it and uh, give you some details and information about it. We're super excited. And from there, we'll stop the video and we'll check back with y'all in about a week or two and let you know what we think of it. So let's go ahead and uh, go into the RV and set it up. Uh, all right, guys, so we just moved the old bed out here, turned the AC off just because it's going to be hard to hear. Um, we're fixing to put the, the birch mattress up here, and we're going to lay it out, and uh, we're going to see what it feels like. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to open it up now. All right, we're going to easily cut this open. The, it is wrapped in the package inside. It's rolled up and through. And um, got a little uh, pamphlet here. Um, our, our breathable and eco-friendly um, birch natural mattress. So um, like I said, we'll go into more of that after we um, get it all laid out and everything. And I'll kind of tell you a little bit more about it. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it now. Birch makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Also, guys, I don't want to forget to mention, but Birch mattresses are made here in the United States. They are good quality. We absolutely love them. I want to thank Birch for sponsoring today's video. Their 4th of July sale is running now, and you can get 25% off your purchase for a limited time. Check out the Birch site for more details. Their non-toxic mattresses are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. It is important for me to choose a birch mattress that is made with organic and natural materials because I can sleep easier knowing I'm avoiding harmful off gases that can happen in the manufacture process. Birch mattresses are green guarded gold certified, meaning no harsh chemicals are used. I feel hot when I sleep so the organic materials keep me cool and regulate my body temperature. Unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in the mattress makes it hypoallergenic. In addition to being a better mattress for me, Birch is committed to bring better for the planet. I love that. I can reduce my environmental impact by having a mattress that is produced with a raw material. We've had our Birch mattress for about two weeks now, and we absolutely love it. One thing I enjoy about it compared to our old mattress is... We, do no, we no longer roll together, and I like it because it's real firm, and we get a good night's rest. Um, with the last mattress I had, honestly, I'd get up one to two times a night just tossing and turning, and now 
Uh, I can actually lay down without having to toss and turn. So guys, if you're looking for a new mattress, we highly recommend checking out one of the Birch mattresses. And here's the deal. With the Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with the 25 year warranty. The best part about all of this, the Birch delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up as you just seen me and Steph set it up in the RV. Uh, obviously if you was in a bedroom you'd have a lot more space but um, I would say it's definitely easy to set up. Each Birch mattress comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows made from recyclable plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment. We love our Birch mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch Living. Their 4th of July sale is running now. It is the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off Birch mattress plus two free pillows. Click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash eddiefamilyfarm to find out more about this limited time offer. Oh yeah, much better. Hop up here and try. No, it's firm. Yeah. We're not rolling in together. And like I say, this is really tight space, but unfortunately, this is the way it's got to be in the RV. Um, hopefully, hopefully, our house will be built here soon. But uh, honestly, I'm pretty impressed with this. Yeah. That's, that's a lot better. Let's just take a nap. Take out these pillows real quick that come with it. Oh, look at them. That's, that's cool how it comes together like that. They all expand right there, and uh, yeah, that, that's pretty neat. I like how it's firm, which the, the mattress we was using, like I say, we rolling in the middle, but um, anyway, so we're going to put some sheets and stuff on it, and we're going to try it out for the next uh, week or so, and then we'll get back with y'all and let y'all know what we think about it. Um, I will say, but how... Um, I think it's pretty neat how they can roll it up. So it's going to be easy if you order one, easy to get it to you. Um, that's almost this crazy. You can ship a mattress in the mail. But um, yeah, we'll see how it works. Uh, apologize about the AC, but it's super hot and we got to have it in here. And um, anyways, stay tuned and uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been probably about 16 days since we actually un, un uh actually unboxed this and and we actually been sleeping on it for about 16 days mm -hmm. and i will say i really really like it um which our main deal with our other bed was at night time we would roll roll together and um i've always had kind of an issue with my neck and with moving back and forth it, it was it was hard because i'd have to toss and turn throughout the night um, I will say the last uh, the last 16 days that we've actually had it sleeping on it, it's been absolutely awesome. I don't have no really no complaints at all, other than it's small. But that's that's on us. This is the yeah. only thing that we could have. Um, I'm used to a California king, and when we moved here, it's, it was crazy. But one thing about it, guys, if you're looking for a a good mattress. Um, most definitely reach out to Birch. Um, they do have a sale going on, the 4th of July sale, and I will leave all the information in the description box, and I'll probably put a, some text up here so you can see it as well, and then I'll leave it in the comment box. Um, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this, and yeah, if you're looking for a new bed, I would definitely reach out to them. So as time goes on, you know, we'll see how it goes, but I can tell you right now, um, the last couple of weeks has been amazing so yeah. what do you think i like it i mean like he was saying you we go to bed like the longer you have a bed usually it seems like we would always end up folding together and this one i mean it's been a couple of weeks and we haven't yeah it's um it's real firm in which i've spent big big money on mattresses before 
and actually had to take them back or and this one here I had no issues out of it so um, anyways I'll leave all the stuff in the uh, description box for you to go check it out so now let's go check on the garden all right guys so um, as you've seen here a few videos back you know Badger he had a uh, small heat stroke and he was having a lot of issues and like I said that was a that was my fault um, the girls are going to be clipped here in the next couple days we got some clippers coming in so they're going to be clipped but badger boy he does look totally different now compared to the girls don't it that's crazy badger what are you doing buddy huh what are you doing yeah he's a good boy badger's a good boy ain't that right yeah Look at those little spots on him. He's got tons of spots underneath him. But, yeah, I'm glad he's doing better. We was definitely, that definitely scared us. Um, and like I said in that video was, you know, we did reach out to the people to actually, um, to actually uh, cut him. But uh, they had already did all the their work and the appointments down here in this area. So they said they would put us on the list for next year. We're just going to get by and um, get them cut ourselves. Um, I ordered some shears um, because I, I had some clippers last time. They didn't work. So I ended up getting some shears. So hopefully they work. Looks like Kaysen. Kaysen's been a really good help around the farm today. He's been picking up all the little bitty uh, the trash and stuff that the dogs carry up from who knows where and uh, he's going to get a ride the four wheeler for a little bit his four wheeler is in the shop and Braley's is too I'll tell you one we had a lot of issues with those four wheelers we didn't ride them very much when we got them Christmas and messed up the carburetors and yeah it's crazy but we learned next time there won't be a next time we won't get any more um, full wheelers like that. We'll probably get a bigger one later on. But look at the garden. I wanted to show you all this corn. It is absolutely humongous. I'm gonna set the camera stand back and then you can see how tall it is. This is amazing. This is our first year growing vegetables. Um, not first year growing vegetables, but a, a garden as big as this here. So I'm gonna raise this up. And I'm gonna kind of show y'all, if I can get it all tilted right. I'm gonna show y'all how big this is. Look at that dude. That thing's gotta be over eight, eight foot tall, maybe. Nine I, was foot tall. I was gonna bring a tape measure too. Yeah, that's crazy. Which I don't. Oh, yeah, we got a start of corn right here. Yeah, look at the start of corn. Yep, the hair. Yeah. There's the hair. There's some on that one. Uh, the cucumbers are starting to starting to move around a little bit and look a lot better. Um, we still got, oh, the tomatoes. We're, you know, it's crazy because the tomatoes have not turned red. And uh, Steph looked up something. It's because of the temperature, wasn't it? Something like that? Yeah, it says tomatoes like it around 70, 75 degrees. And it's way above that. Yeah, but as I'm looking, here is a red one. Or they're starting to turn red. Oh, this one might be ready. There it is. The beauty. That is awesome. Well, I have to take this back down the house and wash them. Yeah. There's a couple more under here. Look at all these. These might grow. That is crazy. They're doing amazing. And I was looking here look at this squash it turned this squash here has turned yellow wonder why that is because the other ones we have actually
cut off there were green, just like this in here. This is ready to come too. See, it's green. But that one's yellow, that's weird. I know, we thought all of them were yellow. Yeah, but I'm telling you, we got a lot of things mixed up, um, which I don't know. Oh well, we can eat it, that's all that matters. And this looks like the, the okra. Dear Lord, did I plant two rows of okra? Oh yeah, this whole yeah. this whole deal is, is okra here. Look how big these look how big these guys are getting. Ooh. And right there's some little okras. Boy, that breeze feels good. It's been hot. Yeah. They're getting really big. We're, uh, as you see, it's starting to cloud up a little bit. We got some storms uh, moving in. And, and, Le and Leighton got a ball practice. Yeah, Leighton's got a, a, a ball game, but they've moved the times back so um, to let the storms blow through. But no, nope, there's another red one over here. Wait, really? There's a caterpillar too. Where? Right, huh. right there, we caught him red-handed. We caught you red-handed, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That tomato is huge. Yeah, we we can we can have that one for everybody. Oh, it's no good. Yeah, it's no good. Mm-mm. No good. The caterpillars has already been in them, but I've got some stuff I can spray on them. I'm going to go get some stuff. That way we can spray on them again. I thought we had a pretty good hand on it, but look, you know, I just caught the caterpillar on them right now, so they're probably eating them. And um, Robin with Phoenix Farm gave me some stuff to actually spray on the um, our tomatoes and our vegetables to keep the bugs away. So we'll probably uh, go down there and mix up some stuff, come back up here and spray it real good. That way we can try to keep the bugs off, but that ain't no good. Mm -mm. Can I go look at the potatoes? Yeah, let's check yeah. the potatoes out while we're here. starting to turn a little bunch of frogs yeah there is a bunch of frogs a bunch of frogs um and from our understanding is is when they start turning yellow that's when it's time for them to be harvested um which i wouldn't say they're some i mean they are turning a little bit yellow so we may give it another three or four days and check it out Obviously, we didn't do very good weeding this stuff. It's just so busy. I didn't realize there was so much work on the farm. Like this one here, it's starting to turn yellow. We got plenty if you want to just go ahead and pick it and like pull here. them up. This one's turning yellow. Let's see what, I'm gonna do what um, Gary did. All he did is pull it up like this. Oh, there's one potato. <gasps> In the ground? Yeah, that's how potatoes are formed. They grow underground. Here. He and said, dig around there and you'll probably find a lot more. Oh, yeah, look at here. Oh my <gasps> gosh. Holy cow. Look at that dude. That oh my gosh. Fit. Nope, that one's good. Here. Eating baked potatoes tonight. Yay. Let's see if there's any more. He had a bunch of smaller ones. I mean, semi-small. I mean, they were big. Do we have a shovel up there? Probably, or a rake. Let me go up there real quick. That's back well, I think it's getting pretty close to time to harvest them. So let's see what, let's see what we got here. Yeah. See any? Oh, 
No. Surely it made more than one. Two. Or two. Hey boys, we got potatoes. Really? Yeah. I got them. It might be Stay over here and they'll come. Maybe not time. Well, I mean, those two were huge. Yeah. I got them. This is pretty yellow, too. Well, that's a big tomato. Yeah, this is a yellow that one, one, too. Um, oh, the ones that we ate were different. We ate red ones. They were red tomatoes. Yeah, I've 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 cooked red and yellow. Yeah, that's. All right, here's another one, babe. It's yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh. Go ahead and pull it. Yeah. Let's see. It can't hurt. They can pull it down. Oh. It didn't pull. It didn't pull like Gary's. There's oh. one. There's one. There we go. There's oh my a goodness. Oh. Wait, Dad, why are you tearing them up? Oh, wow. That that that's tomato? what you do. Yeah, that's tomato. <laughs> Look here, guys. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> that one probably could have waited a little bit longer. They ain't going to be ready, but. Oh, wow. Look at them. That is crazy. Yeah. Just find them yeah, gold. Can eat a lot. Yeah, I think he buried too much. Wow. Let's Ooh. count them. Two. There's how many you got there? One, two, two. three, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not gonna count the two year colton. Those came from a different plant. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you got these little ones here. We pulled a little too soon, but they ain't gonna be worth nothing. Hey, I can have a bite-sized potato. I'll just throw some salt on it. Please be no more. Please be more. Please don't be no more. Baby more. Please. I know, look. Um, that's Dad, we it. don't have to eat this one. No. No, that one's bad. Caterpillars got into it. You mean cat Yeah, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and and get them. Dad, you want me to throw Dad, some Dad, yellow I just wait. That's yeah, just a leaf. Yeah, we're going to wait on the rest of them. Yeah. I didn't plan on coming up here picking everything. Oh, yeah, the peppers have got really big. Where's the bucket at? Oh, yeah. They said to use gloves. Yeah, you don't got your gloves on. I'm going to... So we're trying to let them get as big as we can. These here, they're already turning yellow, so. And we need the We might give them one more rain and then um, go from there because uh, here's a squash. What? Oh, Dave, you need to pick this one. Yeah, we'll get that one too. There you go. Oh, here's another one. Wow, these things. Daddy, we're not here. These things what? got growed overnight. Daddy, this Yeah, yeah. I can pick like a cow pedal. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff going on here, guys. Yay. There you go. I can pick up three. Yeah, I just saw a frog. A big frog. Yeah, that one we can't pick. I'm trying to wait until they turn yellow. Yellow. They're kind of greenish yellow now, but um, here's one right down here. Oh. These jalapenos are growing pretty good. Oh yeah, they're getting they're getting bigger and bigger. Day by day. 
Yay! And we're fixing to get a really good rain, hopefully. Yes, fine. But I think these peppers, I'm gonna get, let them get one good rain and then we'll come back and, and pick these peppers. All right, guys, so I think the rest of them, we're gonna go ahead and let, oh, that one's red. I got a red pepper too. That's crazy. Huh. Here's the deal, you just never know what you're gonna get, I guess. But um we're gonna give those um one more chance throughout the rain and we'll see how they do. So anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today's video. Um, we're going to go down and take care of a few other things and we're going to get ready for the ball game. After the storm blows through, we want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. Don't forget to go check out you a mattress with Birch. I'll leave all this uh, information in the description box and I'm going to leave a comment. They've got a sale 4th of July. You do not want to miss it. I'm going to put all the information down there so I don't miss, uh, miss say any words, but I'm going to put all the information down there. Go check them out. Thank each and every one of y'all for watching today's video. God bless.